What appears here in the video is built on insights I have at the moment. However, I reserve the right to change my insights at any time, and if I do I may delete or replace content on the channel. So take the video under limited warranty. The role of terminal death and the extinction that comes after it. So why is there a final death and extinction for all of us today? It can be said, that in permanent nature a complete death for all of us today, since we are all evil to nature, we corrupt every good corner. So how will nature remain if we all fight it? That is why the Creator has set a law that will preserve nature, anyone who constantly corrupts, so nature eventually conceal him. Think for a second, today we are all fighting nature and corrupting it. For all sorts of reasons that silence the conscience of some of us. Destroy animals for eating, destroy trees for toilet paper. Inanimate substances? We corrupt them for electronics and toiletries etc. Whole forests are extinct, almost completely destroying nature. Billions of animals are killed every year in the world for eating. Why? It is missing what to eat? And no more but adding air pollution and pollution of seas and rivers, what has nature done to us that is how we fight it? So it is no wonder that the Creator tried to protect nature with the help of law. A law whose job is to eradicate criminals and terrorists and murderers and polluters from the world. In terms of nature, we are like disease, we interfere to the normal order, so reality invites us to lessons in the form of weakness diseases or problematic climate to wake up, to understand that we are wrong along the way, and if these do not help us, then eventually material fatigue erodes us, and the nature of life we had, completely broken. Then we come to a final death. So what is the role of absolute death? Its role is to eradicate crime and corruption from the world, if there was no death, then it is likely that today there would be no nature left at all. But it does not have to be that way. We can mend our ways, and begin to be considerate at all levels of life. Then we will be included in nature, and nature will want to keep us as it keeps every creature that does not corrupt. Like earth, stones, ornamental trees, and sun, these are non-corrupting beings, so nature does not corrupt them either. We too can be the ones who do not corrupt. Let's start living a considerate life. I was Google TTS with the voice of US WaveNet I. In our temporary channel, we deal with all sorts of interesting areas. We will present here instructive natural phenomena. And we will talk here about a worldview that gives meaning to life and hope for a better future. If you are interested in this type of content, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified of any new video that comes up. And see you next time. Writing. Yohai Yinan, Elhiani. Adjusting illustration passages. Yohai Yinan, Elhiani. Illustration clips. iStockphoto.com. Translation. Google's translation. Narration. Google text to speech. Voice. US Wave Net I. There is no copyright on this content, and all or part of its useful use may be made in whole or in part. I was the voice of WaveNet G.